yeah, you guys have destroyed everything in my garden. Everything! quack or not to quack? That is the question. Whether to get chickens or ducks or another type of bird, every farm has their preference. While doing research on ducks, I liked a lot of the benefits that came along with the bird. They were sociable. It was easy to add more birds to the flock with less strain. You can get specific breeds that produce many eggs a year, like the khaki Campbells, which can do up to 340 eggs a year. They tolerate the cold a lot better than chickens do, as we have a very windy spot with temperatures that can get quite chilly. The other part was going in the garden. Not only utilizing their manure, but also utilizing them to forage and to take care of any of the pests. Now there's benefits on all of those. But the one thing I noticed was some of the negatives. Ducks and foraging. You gotta learn to work with them. When I first started making plans of having a garden at the back of our house, I had considered a lot of options on doing hugel culture and raised beds and to have the space utilized as much as possible. I had drawn up schematics and taken key mind to note exactly how much square footage each of my designs got and I chose the design that utilized the most ground. When all this started to roll around in my head it was still winter and then as spring started to set in was when we started having lockdowns and a lot of things that I had planned to do fell by the wayside. We already had the ducks so, love it or hate it, I had to let them into the garden. I wanted to raise up all the beds like this, so that way they could move through the different alleys and mow down the grass. And that way, I wouldn't need to use a mower. I wasn't worried about the tomatoes. As you can see, they might occasionally nibble on a branch that's hanging out, but for the most part, the ducks do not even care about the tomatoes. They do have a toxicity in the leaves, so they avoid them. However, other garden favorites, such as corn, beans, squash, cucumber, and even pumpkins. They will try to get at as much as possible. If you don't have raised beds, then you will need to protect these vegetables. Because of the times, we didn't have the funding or the opportunity to get the materials that we needed. We ended up getting a lot of pallets and breaking them down. I made makeshift fencing as a deterrent, but it does not keep them out. I had even tried taller fencing based upon pallets, but even then, and even with obstructions, they will still get in and decimate where they can. They absolutely love beans and we'll do whatever they can to get them.
So they have to be put into a raised bed where they can trellis over. I noticed that the ducks did not care too much for the carrots. I never saw them munch or even try and get any of the fronds that extended beyond the barrier. There were certain grasses that they cared for more than others, and weeds that they would go after, and others that would be ignored. And the khaki campbells are a breed that is very good at foraging, and other ducks that are kept with them, I've noticed, like the Peking, which normally are not that great at foraging, have improved. Certain weeds that I had wanted them to really take care of was Creeping Charlie. And Creeping Charlie, as you can see here, grows along in spots. It's a vine that will go into your beds. I do plan on mulching in the future and raising these beds up and then that will be able to deter it from my actual garden. But the ducks don't care for it. So although they do mow down quite a bit of ground and this has not needed to be mowed, they still ignore some of the key grasses and a lot of the key weeds, such as ragweed. They also do not like Queen's Anne lace. And there's several others on the list of what they don't care for. But they have done an exceptional job at mowing down the terrain. With time, you can work with ducks on your property, even though our garden looks very shaggy right now, and we've had to learn the hard way about things that we should do on keeping ducks, sometimes you don't have an option and you have to just do what you can to deter them. Case in point, some things that will surprise you. This is a prickly pear cactus that I started from one paw many, many years ago. I've cultivated this now for at least 10 plus years, and it's moved with me from a container from house to house, growing in a, in a windowsill to being planted outside. I transferred it here and actually had it in this plot. However, the ducks decided that they enjoyed not only eating any of the fruit, but they also would lay across all of the paws and break them off and damage them. They'd break all the spines off of them. And they just generally were inhibiting growth. I went on ahead and dug out a small baby pool for them to be able to use and I dug up all of the plant and transplanted it into its own little area where it's makeshift duck fence is to try and keep them out in the meantime until I can build up a better fencing for it. The prickly pear is Definitely one for my garden that I had wanted to harvest this year to be able to make jams and jellies out of the fruit. It's one of the rare cacti you can see up north, and this is definitely winter hardy. However, I think next year I'll have a bumper crop after dealing with the ducks. So for grazing, they do a marvelous job. And they are a bit of a troublemaker at times. They get into areas and they get out where they're not supposed to go. But that's just ducks. They're easy to herd. So they're very nice. If you do have them get into your garden, you can easily 
herd them out. And if they get out into the yard, you can do the same. So ducks are very useful to have in the garden, especially for their manure. You can use the compost from your house if you have any uneaten fruit or vegetables. You can give that directly to the ducks. If you have eggshells, you can give that directly to them, and they will eat it. And then they will use it to make more manure for your garden. If you have any questions, please post them below. And as always, have a wonderful day.